Good to know she's still well. I've been scared to ask. Who yes. Didn't make it? Last I heard, she returned to the north to be with her clan. I think. Mm. I'm not sure. That's good. Yet I've seen her husband here. Mm. That must be very hard for him. He's and always her. been a man of duty. Before he left, they went on a honeymoon. And, uh, <laughs> Tazim said, You don't have to come back. Of course, he came back, but. Oh. That fucking man. He's the closest thing I he has might to regret family, saying anyway. this. Hmm? I'm speaking about Arnulf. Meet that guy has always been amazing in my books. Meet that guy. The story of no, wait, that was. Oh, that was Gregor. Where is Gregor? We uh, went to Fair Hollow and try and stop the Imperials from getting their hands on. Some other fact I can't remember. Mm. Just before we got to the final area, he tried to defend me. As the dignitary. It wasn't your fault. I know you. That was his job. You were his charge. Come on, we have to follow he died them. doing... Looking after me. A group of villages just went past. Right. I'm sorry if I overstepped. He... Goes into his pocket and there's a small bit of wood. With the name Hildum carved into it. He stays around. Follows me. Follows you? Uh, not like that. Uh, more uh, spiritually than literally. <laughs> I know how nowadays that can seem like the same thing. But it is. Just a little bit. Yeah, he was like a big brother to me. He was amazing. One of the only humans I didn't give a shit about being mean to. Time to focus up. Right. Supposed to be happening at the vineyard. Do we just wait there or right. what do you think? Mm, we could get in a good vantage point now before That's they go. What yes, they was but for. we don't have the cover of shadow. No. Though there are hiding spots, I fear we'll miss any opportunity to see what building they go in if we're too far away. If they go into any building. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> For now, I say let them go first. We see where they go. So we know exactly what to expect. Sure. What do you think? I don't know. I don't like not n not seeing them all the time, but I doubt they're gonna say anything you important. Me, no. Good. 
Sand is dead we'll still. No nerves here. Can't relate. This is what I was worried about. Always, always need more honey. Mm. Oh, okay. Then what happens if they become what the elves care about? What the fuck is he doing? Uh, they probably won't. I don't know. Good work. Is that right? Since it's oh, peace and the of pity of the no. Ooh. Did you see them? I think they are turning this way. Yep. Fuck me. Look at the amount of people trying to subtly follow them. It's fucking disgusting. It's alright, it helps us actually. Just give them the. As you approach from this back corner here, Vesra, you're looking toward the group, and they, they come to a halt. And the one with the red hair slowly turns his head around and looks directly in your direction. You were worried that your eyes would meet, and yet, when you caught a glimpse, you noticed he didn't seem to be looking at you. Instead, he appeared to almost be looking through you. Your spine is a rack of different vibrations and sensations, and you are alarmed with an urge to run away. Unpause. Perhaps to an extent. Regardless of their reasons. I will not profess to know what goes on in their minds. <laughs> I mean, I can shoot him and you can stab him. I think we take care of it pretty fast. We know where they're going. Little genius, I almost forgot. Well, way to be subtle. If he comes this way, I'm going to knock him out. I'm serious. If we get now, we can use the weight. I'm hoping to use the tree line up here.
ahead in case I can't keep up with them. Let me make sure you're hearing what they are saying once they get in there. You want me to go ahead? I'll try and follow them. Inside and find a place? Ideally. Okay. Carefully. There are workers. This fucking sucks during the daytime. There's no fucking way I can hear anything. Hey, sir. Uh, pardon us. The bush does a lot to help conceal you, and you feel comfortable inside of it. You know you're not going to be seen. 
House Ienda is indeed concerned over the Make notes, chat. of our borders. What with the crisis taking place over inside of Arlen and, well, the failure of the Arlen. Switch to the stuff that's in the shed down. Yes, sir. He's using the Imperial as a proxy to solidify his status here. He's disregarded the idea of allowing people to help the Tartan with proceeding for his own interests to try to figure out his way. So your worry is that your brother is going out of his way. This is a real fucking awkward spot. It's really hard. Your concern, if I understand fully, is that a mem, your brother, is going to use the Imperium to circumvent your Baroness. Is that correct? To some extent, yes. Although I would not go as far to say as usurp. It's, uh, 
I think it's a matter of principle with him. I think he wishes to destroy our father's legacy. Now, um, I know it's not right to speak on outsiders about this situation. It is an internal affair. But it's clear he's looking for any reason to expand the imperial influence here. Allow me to be frank with you, Kovas. Ashmathilos has no wish to see the Imperium gain footholds in any of the lands around her. We have seen what they have done to the Arilantius. We have seen what they have done to the human kingdoms of the West. And we have seen what they are trying to do here, in Gradia. Now, make no mistake, the human Imperium is no friend of yours. The only reason why they entreat you now is because there are many laws that are similar that gain them money, gain them power, gain them reputation. For instance, in their conquest, they are able to bring their ships here to your shores and sell these people. Gain coin from it. Ow. There are things that they stand to benefit from by abusing your societal standards. The Imperials know what they are doing, Kovaz. They are convincing your brother that he should act without your mother's say-so. That the only way that the entirety of your province will remain standing is if they take particular action without waiting. Something that I truly believe is not a good idea. Have you given this any thought? As a matter of fact, I already have. What do you intend to do? The I plan to remove them, the Imperials, from the countryside. There is a mercenary company nearby <clears throat> who will most likely assist. Although I doubt they would interact with the Empire, there is another thorn in my side. And this is? A robber baron who's been plaguing our roads. Right, Batch. <sighs> that. My knees are fucking it's giving me up. Problem which I have to deal with. It seems that a great deal of your infrastructure in your province has fallen apart, not through any actions of your own, <clears throat> not through any action or lack thereof by your own people, but because of the abuse shown to it by those who scrambled to undermine you and your family. Well, we know all this already. Conflict is inevitable. The Empire will continue to expand. You must be able to see this, Kovas. If they felt that dethroning you would serve their purpose, they would do so no matter what the bloodshed may be. It is not something that you may give in to. But you'll have to be careful. While they are indeed evil, the Imperium is cunning. Very cunning. What else are you concerned about? <coughs> I'm concerned for the safety and well-being of my people. I know there are supporters among them. Those who will open to my cause and my intent. But I don't know who they are.
I'm not sure I understand. Are you saying that there are people outside of your house that, that are entreating with you and your brother? I believe there are people who are working not only with my brother, but with the Imperials. I want to warn you of this manipulative nature of the enemy. You want to warn them? And what happens if it turns out that they are not as benevolent as you think? Piercing words go back. As you look into the words of the, or the eyes of the emissary, you are reminded of why you have so much confidence in him. The thoughts that he parts to you. It's piercing, calming, and evokes a strong sensation of trust to simply meet those eyes of his. You might be right. I have no doubt that the fact that you have been able to navigate your brother's charades for this long, that you will be able to see this for what it truly is. It is dangerous to hope that those that are involved with the Baron and them do not know his true intent. There may be a chance you are right. Perhaps if you were to speak with these people and expose your brother, maybe, perhaps, they will support your cause. But if you're wrong, will it be worth it? Your brother would be made aware of what it was that you were attempting to undo. And this alone could lead to a preemptive Excuse downfall me. that you are not prepared for. I do not say these things to worry you. I don't say them to concern you. And I certainly don't say them to belittle your security of your own country. <coughs> you say them to know and make them comfortable. <laughs> this is Lev Kutulun. I wish to do a nice service to you. Here up there. The name of this dynasty, can you remind me? The Vipex. The Vipex, yes, I remember hearing a great deal of words from your brother stating that they are a concern. Well, why do you say this? What do you know about them? I believe it's another fabrication from my brother. There can be no real threat from them. It's just being used as another point of his to take more actions. You are telling me that you think that the Vipex truly aren't actually a threat. It is, what, a ploy by a man? That's right. I could see how he could use that to garner more military support. But to risk the ire of another house over such fabrications, how would he get away with it? By pinning them and being in cahoots with this Baron.
I see. <clears throat> well, if you are correct and the Vapex truly are a fabricated threat, then your brother is far more cunning than either of us believe. There is no telling what it is that he may be doing, no telling what he may be asking the Imperials to do on his behalf. And from the way that you explain him, it does not seem like he would stop at any sort of violence if it came to it to claim his right, so to speak. How worried are you of this? Very. Oh, speak plainly, friend. What else concerns you? <sighs> I wish to simply state my plan in its totality. Keep note, chat. I will attempt to aid you however I may. Please. Once again, I intend to remove the Imperials from the countryside, eliminate this embassy through political means or any means open to me, and then to remove the robber baron. I plan to do this with the assistance of you and the Sordillo Company. I've taken my own actions to fund this project. It's taken much time, much work, and I'm still attempting to secure additional funds. I'm, I am determined to do whatever it takes to protect our people. I'll even go so far as to petition the council. The council at your capital? Yes. I will have to warn you, Kovas, many of these directions that you wish to take may lead to open violence, and I do not know how your brother will react. He will most assuredly attempt to kill you using the guard. You know that they are controlled. You have told me as much. Let's confirm that the guard are under Ahmed's control, it is Ahmed's control. think on and speak of. I cannot promise direct action. As I told you, I am from House Enlarman. House Enlarman. Make note. Diplomatic. I will send a messenger to Ienda. I will tell him how dire things are here and the struggles of the Redards attempting to keep this empire at bay. If I can gain his ear, and he understands how truly threatening this is, there is a chance perhaps you may not stand alone when it comes time to evict these Imperials. I cannot promise this, but at the end of the day we all share one goal, and that is to live in peace. And while people like the Empire remain, there will never be peace. I believe I have kept you away from the castle for far too long, Baron. I apologize for this. I have enjoyed our walk. Uh, shall we return? Let's. Hmm. Very well. Captain, if you will lead us home. Of course.
Well, that sheds some light onto some things. Well, fuck me sideways. Oh my god, what do we fucking do? I need to pick which side we're going to take. Screw this place into war. Yeah. That's that's so not easy to answer. Well, ideally not the I mean, Imperials. Obviously, yes, but the fucking high elves, really. I wonder if his, this Corvus is being played by them. He seems very chummy, chummy. Even called him friend. We need to be worried about the fact that King Aendar is getting word that this place is in danger, which means this place is going to be crawling with high elves in a yeah. matter of days. We need to grab Vesrin. You alright? Yeah, just I hurt my finger too. Adjusting. <laughs> I hurt it with my finger. Okay. We need to grab Vesrin, we need to grab your, um, your other friend and whoever else needs to talk about this. Okay. I will uh, go over. Go find my friend and uh, catch up with you. Hmm? Yeah, I'm gonna go change these clothes. Stink. Stinky. Uh oh. Stinky. Uh oh, stinky. Yeah. Alright, chat, give me the deets. Well, the big one is they. is. Kovas believes that. The Vapex aren't actually being aggressive. He believes that uh, his brother is bullshitting that and he is working with the robber baron. Um, what else? I'm going to copy and paste that into my, my document so you guys don't have to keep, you know. success more or less we got information which was the point of it fucking shitting me I got copy and paste What kind of fucked up world is this? Actually, I think there's a way I can do this. Yeah, eat shit. Oh, my poor knees.
found in there. Yeah, right. Anyway, I'll see you All there. we'd have to do, really, is dig. All right, I'll see you there. Hopefully, Jin <laughs> won't help. Shetty, you should come Hi. with us ding, for ding, some ding, drinks. Ding, ding, or anyone ding. else that's strong. Ding, you like it, huh? Isn't it good? Ding, Isn't it good? It's cute. I like it. Isn't it nice? Yeah, thank you. I'm still on some business, but I might swing by afterwards. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. We'll be at the tavern yeah, waiting for you. Make a gate. See you in a bit. Uh, see you. <laughs> and. Unless you Bezrin. wanted Jim no is. gate. And if you had a natural way of getting up and into your camp. Yeah, he okay. was speaking to Marcus as I spoke, but you know I don't in. know where he went. Okay. Thank Did you. you check his you house? About their I'll store. catch up with you in a bit. Is that him? Not a bad idea. Or on him. this wall, you had a place to put a rope. Did I? Mr. Shuri, I have a question for you. Mm, yeah. Do you know roughly what I can find? <sighs> Wait, is it, for... aren't you the um, scribe fellow? Ah. Oh yes. Good to see you again, Vesrin. <sighs> Good to see you. We actually um, wanted to talk to you about, about that thing that you said you were doing. I need to find where Jensen stays. I need to find L. I have no That's idea. That's important, and I can't explain. No idea. Sorry. If you see L, can you let her know that I'm looking for her? Yep. Well, I wanted to know if we could get I need to speak to her friend. A, um, a sketch up, rough sketch of um, the region's map. Something that the will help us try map. and identify the re the map of the region, that is. Um, <laughs> to try and identify Basic. sources of tray or, or anything of interest or just, or just talking about interest, you know? the Nautis right. territory or are you talking about Nautis, the Beam Forest, the Pex lands, Some... maybe across the channel Nautis territory. I know. Uh, Nautis territory if you can get anything bit... across the channel it would be great that all might be a big ass but, but no, whatever you can be too hard sure I'll Wonderful. make sure I can grab something, probably something of quality. We appreciate that. Of course. But I would suggest I would be careful at night. Uh, yes, so it's a dangerous bandits going around. The, um... Yes, bandits. Well, don't let us hold you up. Um, you said you have information to collect, so... Oh, excuse me. Take care. I'm walk around for a bit. So you take care there, Vesrin. And the rest of you lot. Markle. A shake, I believe. Hmm. <laughs> uh, need to debrief you on some things when you're free. Well, we might as well do it now. Tori's not out of the talk yet. Need to find Tizim as well. Relaxation time. After this, relaxation time. Is this a private meeting again, or? Hmm. Need to find Tizim. Need to find Tizim as well. Mm hmm. Hmm. I see. Oh, that complicates things. He's always got his own thing going on. Maybe Alan is right. Maybe I do need a day off. You do. Just close down the shops. No elves, no imperials, no business. Yeah, it would no be nice. No weird things. Yes, if only the world stopped turning when I took a day off. Hmm. Well, do you want to make it quick and then just hit me with the, the brief cliff notes inside? Hmm. All right, Sounds well. like it's not going to be quick. Maybe tonight. Cool. I have. Uh, I want to go to the bathhouse. Okay, let me see if I can find Tazim. You do your thing. I'll give you cliff notes later. 
Thank you. Are, are you busy, Shriek? Uh, quite. Do you need something? Uh, we could talk about it later, if you want. Thank you. Uh, see you later, I guess. Uh, good luck with whatever you're talking about. Mm. There's a few people at the tavern hanging out if you want to catch up with them. Do you have money for drinks? Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, drinks? Oh yeah. no, oh, I'm good. Don't worry, you don't need to pay. No, no, don't. you don't go, need to. Go get some drinks with your friends. It's 15 copper. Oh. Go on. All right. Oh, but. Shariq. Shariq, I give you your you... wife money for nails. You doing have what you with seen, my wife? Uh... What? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Have you seen Vez? I think he was going to the bathhouse. Alright, cool. Thank you. Well, would you like to thank you, Shriek? Can I talk to you later? Mm -hmm. Stay safe. Is, uh, is Bronze being on right now? Or is he in another module? He's doing a module. <laughs> I have all this cool information, but what can I do with it? Alright chat, one more time for the people in the back. Cobus moves and moves Imperials from the countryside, eliminate the embassy through political means or any means. Then afterwards, he wants to remove the robber baron, with, wants to do all that with the assistance of the elves and Sordilla company. They've been funding all this by himself. They'll even try to position, peti petition the Guardian Council. God, they're definitely under our moon's control. Elves are from House uh, en 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 Lamen and have direct contact with the Elf King. Elves are pushing the Kovas to move quickly on this. There's a little journal, hide it in the hidey hole. Yeah. Well, I guess we we wait again. Start pinging down as I need on now, please. We, we're meant to do that if we need a character, but if he's running modules, then he won't come anyway. So. If I'm going to stop talking to people, that's honestly where it's most likely going to happen. He's just going to have all this information and not be telling people.
I think I might have missed them. I don't know. It's a shame. Oh boy, do I have a bombshell to drop on them. Okay. Things have been interesting today. Yeah, you can say that again. You want to run me through it? Are you able to... Come on. Let's go somewhere where there's no other ears. Oh boy, okay. Well, I spoke very briefly with the other brother before they ran away to speak with the relevant delegates. Pretty interesting, to say the least. He seems receptive, so that's good. He did not seem opposed to having another meeting, so I might attempt to meet with him more. I even brought up some of the issues that I've been asked, and I brought it to him as well. In regards to other matters, are you or Visserin or anyone able to hear that talk that was had with the elf? Yeah, we heard as much as we could. They were moving around a bit, but we heard some pretty interesting things that I would like to tell Arn, but he's not around again, so... We'll have to wait. That's fine, because I have a wonderful bombshell to drop on you. Go on. In the interest of trying to keep them safe and trying to keep others safe, I've encountered another who has ties to a friend of ours, and I don't mean... Uh, I'm trying to say this in the nicest possible way without breaking my oath, but at the same time, it's important, you know. I know of a second dryad. What? You heard me. I can't go into detail, but someone approached me and reached out a hand and asked for my trust and now I need to inform our friends that I have found someone that they need to talk to. They've been out and about all day, they've been in the city all day and now when you need them they're gone. I have no way of messaging them, I don't know where they are. There's no way of sending someone to take a message to them either. No, they've been pretty secretive about that. I'm keeping the other person's identity to myself for now, so that they can protect themselves and their interests, but this is important for us as well, seeing as we are connected to well, our friend I don't know what's... It's not a small bombshell, is it? No, I thought mine was big, but no, you... Yours is... Huge. Mm. We're comparing bombshells. Oh. Scott? Oh... Yeah, I misread that. Am I no. interrupting? I can go. No, just oh, putting fine. it out there. Isn't it always the fact that when you try to find someone, you can't find them, but when you don't try to find someone, they appear in front of you? Yep. Who are you speaking of? Multiple people. This lad is looking for the Forge Master. I'm looking for an elf by the name of L. Yeah, I don't want to tell any of this to Vesterin until we speak to, um... Oh, he denied me. Until we speak to, um... I said, you should come and hear this. Uh, we need to go talk to, you know, Arn and, and figure this out, because we have some stuff. And he's like, oh, I'm kind of busy. So I was like, okay, fine. I'll give you the cliff notes later then. 
He doesn't even want to know. <sighs> but we heard everything. Yep. And I can't wait to find out when Arn does, in fact, have the opportunity to appear. Or to see him. I'm going to have to keep calling him that in case I accidentally slip up. Yeah, I've been doing the same. Still early, in regards to that. We are very much still in business mode, though I do suggest we meander over to the bathhouse for a bit. That's where Vezard is, but we could do I that. Haven't. Are you kidding me? Perfect. Let's go fucking sit near him, make him uncomfortable the whole time. <laughs> I'll, him about you, his new lady love. I'll give you a bombshell, Morden. How about this? Kovas believes that his brother, Ahmed, completely made up with the, the Vapex pushing in on territory. They think it's all a fabrication. <laughs> yeah. So I'll let you sit with that one. Unless you want to join us at the bathhouse. If you want. Yeah. I'm afraid I don't have appropriate attire, and uh, we Dowie don't tend to mix well with water. <laughs> well, if you see Tazim, let him know that That's I'm looking for That's what I'm trying to say. I do not have the physical capability of doing <laughs> exactly that. Yes, but you could get naked. <laughs> I don't think anyone wants to see that. I'm very old. <laughs> if you see Tazim, let him know that we're looking for him then. Thank you. I will attempt to. I'm going to try and catch a wisp of smoke. God, I was crouching down so much. Blushing it. My fucking knees I are know, so my weak. Legs. Yeah. I... <laughs> Why are we like the same person? I... You're <laughs> <laughs> I'm old. My, my knee was already hurting this morning. Me. Now I fucking I'm like mm -hmm. wobbly. Dude, on the Merc mission I fucking busted my middle finger at the tip and I nearly no. cried. It hurts so bad it still hurts. I definitely did something to it. It's gonna get all purple. Purplier. Except mine's gonna be more purplier. Holy hell. Get out of me. Ah, they've made it. No. Oh, I spilled it. Fuck. <laughs> God oh. fucking damn it! <laughs> Don't cry over Bilbao. Bilbao, <laughs> it's like. <laughs> oh. I do oh. fucking copper. I'm gonna lick it off the ground. Oh, um, don't do that. Uh, I'm lick it off the ground. Let's not no. do that. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I'm not that nasty. I'm just oh, no. kidding. I'm You're joking. It's a joke, you fucking okay. barbarians. What do you think of me? <laughs> what was I? You <laughs> made me work. Incredible. Oh, <sighs> oh was I, I joking? Head out. <laughs> 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 yeah. Take care, Think about what I said. <laughs> right. It's a big sparkle. I'll think about it. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> oh my god, you little freak. Well, you god, how are you not drowning right now? <laughs> the water too. <laughs> Ground. Oh. <laughs> I, I can't. I'm, a, I'm really good at holding my um, breath. It's basil. Do you sell drinks by any chance? I do. Would you like some? Yes, please. <laughs> now we have a cider. We have a really nice wine. You think of a pussy? Do you have like whiskey or? You know, <laughs> rum or something. Tomorrow, most likely. <laughs> I do. I would like some rum or whiskey, please. But the thing like slurring already. I spilled half of it on the ground. How much of it? A cup. <laughs> I'm not gonna get wasted tonight. Like, like a okay, then a normal wooden cup. I will get you a. Something about owing money, I think. 
Do you owe any oh, yeah. How much do I owe you for the Hello, black? Mr. Shriek. Right. Hey, Sev. I think I paid one you? silver and I owe you another one. Um, Let me double check. Yes. I believe I've heard it. You owe one more. <laughs> Little goblin. I'm not quite sure. Let me try and remember. I'll give it to you tonight then, and I'll pick it up Water. tomorrow. Alright. I love this place. Something along those lines. It is so I'm nice. I love it here. If I can get uh, in the water. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> here you go. You're welcome. I would pay you, but I don't keep my coins on me. Wait until later, it's okay. Appreciate it. Would you ask for it if you were able to pay for it? Because he can pay for it afterwards once he has all his clothes on. Yeah, I'm trustworthy. There's late payments and debts. Mm -hmm. Yes, hello. Yeah, I saw Brun showing up. I don't care. He can come find me. I'm tired of waiting around just in case he does show up. It's frustrating. Nope. I feel like you never know the I know the What was that? Called it. Hmm. Temple of Flowing Water, yes, that sounds about right. Ah, flat. Flowing Water Monastery. What's this? Oh, yeah. It's That's rum. Monastery. I've never gone in. I never was able to get the drink that you paid me for. So you just took coins from me? Who? Well, do you want back? I have them. That's encrypted! Oh my goodness! What does that even mean? It means you never fucking So you don't stink! Ever. Well, totally you said you just hang us. out all day. What? You. Now that's rude, and it insinuates <sighs> that we just hang out all day. I know you do. And I you don't. Told me you do. <laughs> I'll have you know, I nearly got my nose broken today, and I got my stomach Shame. punched. <laughs> so. We were just talking about how it's like we could you know what? Actually he <laughs> floats it towards you. That's nice to keep you fucking filthy. It's rum. That's why I'm at the bathhouse. Who <laughs> the fuck manhandled you? Did you do this to yourself? Oh, Harry, how was he? Who's this railing? <laughs> what the? <laughs> nice catch. <laughs> fucking with yeah, Harry. Look at his fucking hands. Oh my. Yeah, he God. works hard. I'm just gonna get dirty. Of course he does. <sighs> Do you know when Miss Raylan will be returning? Okay. I'm sure she'll be back soon. Alright. Because I, I got a thing today, uh, Shariq knows about it. I, I won't say what it is, because it's valuable, but uh, uh, Miss Raylan would have interest in it. I will uh, make sure to tell her for you, Mr. Severin. If you could, I don't mind. Her name was... Thank you. Gave me some. Of course. Berries. Of course. Have you seen this? <laughs> hmm? what? Gestures behind him. Have you seen this yet? Oh, fuck. Mm. Oh yeah. I suppose I have dirt on Could you. you tell me something? Not my business. No. <laughs> it's a lot worse than you think too. It's like a lot worse. So next time, did you see what Lottie was doing in the bathroom? Technically, we're all swimming. I can't believe that there's only one who would be on the farm. One entire bird. I'm used to that. I'm used to swimming in the ocean. Yeah, it's summer from the strangest of places. Could you tell, based on the seed form, if it would be able to grow in this kind of climate? There's nowhere this hot. If I were to give you an example, where I'm from. Oh, come now, Lottie. We're just messing with you. The steams. <laughs> I need a tree. It's really always depends. so cold. Kind of oh, I got a spoon bowl there. Grow. Hmm. Well, I don't have it on me right now. Alright, I'm going to close well, my that's eyes. That's like different experience for me. Maybe uh, uh, hi there. See if it could grow it. <sighs> I could attempt to. Oh, there's Susan. Can't make any promises, though. Evening. Try a trick I learned. <gasps> well, I'm just hoping you might help oh, solve that. Why did he have to hit me in the stomach? 
Like I'm really fucking God, a little busy. Some fucking stupid ass bitch. <laughs> I don't even know. This doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> doesn't narrow it down. No, I mean he's dead now. Does it matter? Does anything what? ring a bell? Yes. It was it was just a job. Oh, alright. Hmm. Yeah. Made it sound like something that happened a bit. in a town. I wouldn't be openly talking about that. I'd be plotting their death if they weren't already. Speaking of jobs, that errand you sent me on managed to successfully do that. I can give you those prices when we get back if you want. For now, we can relax. Give me five minutes. Yeah, relax. Take your time. Take your time. I'm not giving up. My knees hurt. <laughs> Is it like you said, God? Geriatric. Definitely from business or like, oh, what stuff is things? I don't know. Yes. Such a way with words. She does, doesn't she? You're welcome. Say yes. If I can, I will. Yes, of course. Why can't somebody come to the forge and ask for something decent? What do you consider so decent? Less, uh, you know, fun um, once I'm Not chains and collars. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, I was thinking of asking for something. But that thing would. I have to find out how much I can get from Miss Rayland, and then with that, I might be able to if this order something. Oh God, I don't know where to treat. Seventy-six or one third up front. Whoa. Oh. How many are they asking for? I mean, it could if it. 40 of each. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? Oh. Oh. So many. Well, okay. Right? They were going to give you 76 what silver up front. Mm -hmm. One third of it. What's up? Sorry. Um. 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 Oh, well. I have put my feelers out, and I have a feeling, a hope, with the choice I'll make soon, that maybe we'll be able to do some business a little farther away. Maybe. Good. Splits my mind and just. A couple factors to it. Usually, it's factors. Okay, we'll figure it out. Oh. Okay. <laughs> With just being in the night time, I don't think she'd be pushing to herself what? anymore. It's gonna take a lot of effort, but... <laughs> Your cheeks are so fucking red. God, <laughs> it's the bath... <laughs> it's the steam. It's the steam. Very little bit. Shriek told me you could tell a good story. Do you have any interesting stories? I don't want to bother you with any of them. I feel like that's something you would know. Did he not? Don't look at me like that. Kind of. <laughs> not exactly what I said. Oh dear. <laughs> well, it, it, well, what you said was like, uh, it, when you comes to more... What, what, what was the word? You said streak. I said he's better at giving advice than I am. That was the extent of what I was trying to say. I see. Seeing the web is... Uh, do you have any good advice or any good stories? <laughs> it's a very generalized question, Mr. Severin. <sighs> Always look both ways before crossing the street. Hmm? You can take that one. That's a good one. Yeah, look at that. I suppose it's a good advice. Thank you, Basil. You're welcome. I will place it back here so it is not too bright for everyone. I don't want to do that, Miss Lydia. I don't think you do. It's dark in here. I think it'd be pretty cool, then. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. When I was coming here, the sun was going down. Oh. So, I didn't even notice. Maybe. Of course you did not. Thank you. Well, why are you being so spiteful? Nice to see you as well. You have a good one.
What, well, what's, he's well, mad. what's this? What's what's, what's this? By. What's that for? Huh? You want to talk about it? Nothing. You want to have a little power? No, I don't want to talk about it. Are you gonna? You have a grumpy? No, I don't want to. You know of your juice box today? You know, if you keep furrowing your brows like that, you're gonna get wrinkles. Or a headbutt. I have never seen you so right flushed now. in my life. All right. I know, right? <laughs> you want to go again? No. I heard soap was the soap. Again? You're gonna have to go and contend with me, boy. I heard what you did to my son. Yeah. <laughs> Get him, Dad. Get him. <laughs> Peter ass, boy. <laughs> I don't know, I'm a slippery one. I'm all lavendered up right now, too. Are you sure yeah. you can handle it? <laughs> I've got an iron grip, veteran. An iron grip. <laughs> Your lavender won't save you. <laughs> I'm like Team <laughs> I don't know. Excuse me. It's dark over there. <laughs> oh, oh, that the I heard a voice Spend that sounded like someone I would have God, I'm always so busy. Mm. Got honest, it wasn't his face. Yes, soot. Got something on his everything. Until that's more charcoal than wood, it's going to be very smoky over there. Yes, I know you have a good deal. No, I don't have the coin. <laughs> oh Sorry, your eyes like light up. Book. No, no, no. <laughs> Not this time. <laughs> I have coal. Excuse me. Not charcoal. <laughs> oh. Tired of swimming. <laughs> It was a lot quieter today than usual. It was nice. Nothing crazy. We don't have many orders at the moment, do we? Um, not many. There mm -hmm. might be some tools needed in the near future. Aldo was talking about them wanting to fix the docks up. So a lot of nails would be needed for that. That would be good. Mm. <laughs> Who are they fixing the dock for? Is that okay by the Redots? I don't know. Apparently, uh, it would have to be run the... by someone called Pelican. <sighs> yeah, she's oh, taking like, it on Pelican. herself. Thank you. Uh, Miss Pelican's one know. of the uh, heads of the fishing company. She does a lot of crab fishing and right now my mind is uh, helps run the docks with the dock master. Hmm. <laughs> she's got a lot of the going on. credit, reputation. Uh, she's basically the boss <laughs> of the boss. And, or not the boss of the boss, but... <laughs> Our boss oh, yes. that reports to the boss. Did I tell you I'm I'm dead? No. What? <laughs> what? Wait, sure. Running, so I'm trying to be fair and kind as a craftsman. I agreed to a deal with uh, Nolzos, mm. who said that I will owe her a favor, and me, foolish me, thinking it would be work since what her job entails and the needs of her gladiator uh said all right very well she called her favorite and she <laughs> dredge wants the equivalent of a giant and i mean giant battle axe which will take me like a wheelbarrow of iron which i can do with the resources they want it to glow because they saw mordens axe <sighs> and so I do taste that. I said I couldn't so I do it. Taste that. They said, I'm sure you'll figure it out. <laughs> I actually really talked to Dredge about oh. that today. Well, he talked to me about it. Well, I told him it'd be fucking difficult for us to do. And he said, Well, Absolutely. we didn't exactly give you a time, did we? And I'm like, Okay. So. Well, great. I can hope to die before <laughs> I have to turn that in. <laughs> you die of old age before they catch up to us, yes. <laughs> Maybe if I just make the metal reflective and just carve any old shit into it. I'm kidding, I won't actually do that. Before somebody oh. goes back and says I said that and I get They're fucking murdered by an anchor. <laughs> you know, I don't like Apparently there's some uh, deep sea creatures that glow. Maybe we could like 
turn them into paint. You all might tag team partner. Glue. Hey, what? Sorry. You're my tag team partner. Oh right, yeah, he brought that up as well. So if he does, Tredge wants we a sparring match. Up, yes. <laughs> I see Fuck. That. Mm. <laughs> oh dear. You want to need more than one bone with growth potion? The only joy that I get out of this is I'm gonna make you go first. So Why? I get to watch you get crushed. <laughs> Why? Why would you do that? I need you to soften him up for me. You're fast and spry. He will pick me up and put me in the ground like a tent peg. Yeah, I know. If hearing the second-hand story is about how fucking Vezrin is a toothpick manhandled you, I have no doubt. That, uh, toothpick? I like water. You know. What? Stealing your spot? <sighs> it's my old I no toothpick. You're doing um, well. I hope you've been enjoying you know. the bath. He's gonna throw you around. I won't be upset at you about it, I'll just be disappointed. Right. Come on, best friend. Leaving already, how sad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Work calls, I'm afraid. Next Thank time, you for bring the your wonderful partner. Never. <laughs> Understand that this water oh. is full of all sorts of oils and salts. What do you think that'll do to a triton? You know how dangerous she's, she's been, been in here several a time. I know, and she's sick. Sure, it would be fine if it meant him. Then you're trying to sleep next to it. You can't prove it. You can't prove that it's because of the bath. All the salts oh and oils getting stuck. I, I live my life with her. I know when she's off. off. Well, we do have a private bath up top that doesn't have any oils or soaps in them without us putting them in it. consider that. <gasps> we could break so everyone in this room. The water. True. She did, she did fall into the water yesterday. <laughs> there are alchemical components that would kill someone on contact, so I hope it's not in the water. All right. Uh, <laughs> The 180 he just did. <laughs> did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need to change He's to fucking him. dead staring at oh. us. <laughs> oh fuck. He's like a fucking mosquito trying to get into the air conditioner. <laughs> you don't know that it's a mosquito trying to get into the cold room. The fuck you <gasps> You've locked them in, <laughs> Tyler. That is not funny. Um, that is not funny. I'm sorry. Hell in a cell! <laughs> no one can say Two enter, one leave. Uh -huh. Don't bend over you. like that again. Please, Miss Kobe. Don't do Oh no, my hair type. Shriek, where's... What? If I had to bend down and snap it. What are you looking for? Is there something here? What is that? That's weird. Who? The intrusive thought, the intrusive thought, the intrusive thought, I caught it mid-air, I caught it, it's like my hand. Lies, but I'm afraid one will... It started moving on its own. Can I you even, you know, stop no, it. I'm not even gonna go there. <laughs> yeah, you want to keep yes. going with that thing. line of thought. You gotta let that intrusive thought win. I'm listening, no, what is it? Thought. No, 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 it's fine. We've got I'll to fist on. fight oh, the okay. intrusive thought, so they'll get you. That's true. <laughs> I'm gonna go wander into the dark. No, you're fucking not! No! Get him! Oh my fucking god, you're joking. You are fucking me. You're fucking me. Huh? What? We hope you've had a good time. How does he do that? That's why I like fucking me. No! No! Well, I mean, do we talk to Vesper? No! no! What's waiting? No! Oi! Oh. Hmm? He's gone, boy. Have a good night, sir. Have a good night. I hope everything's alright. They're acting strange. Can I see that? Boom! My eyes are dying. 
Uh, could you imagine that? <laughs> throw it, yeah, throw it and just leave him. <laughs> just go get another one. <laughs> yeah, I forget. Oh, it's so hard to see in the dark. It is, yes. For you. It's so... Oh. <laughs> That's okay. it. I can't say that. It's too mean. Next time we're in some dark, dank cave, I'm going to get one of those spotlight lanterns and just shine it in your face. Ray Raylan sometimes does that flash thing of hers. That fucking hurts. That's a good idea. I'm not going to do that. In so much pain. Oh, Torchy, what are you doing out here? She's being entertainment for the docks, apparently. What is she a fucking monkey? She's playing monkey? a concertina. Monkey. Ow, her arm's on the light. That's right, she can play it with a sign. Was she told to do that, or does she like it? She's getting paid to do it. I'm party with her. Listen, I'm sure that all the Imperials are so sick of boring, uh, part- Oh, there's so many of you now. Hi! <laughs> Someone's enjoying himself, oh my. You should tell them all to come over and party too. No. They don't seem fucking like they're start. so fucking bored out of don't their mind. Start. Stop. I fucking hate you so much. I got this great dance. Oh, this is not doing the thing. Oh. No. <laughs> the wonderful music. Are you ready for this one? Oh, he's coming back. He's with me. That's scary. Yeah. yeah. Got yeah, Keely's so on, by the way. I'm so good at what I do. <laughs> She's not even watching you. She's missing it. She doesn't care. <laughs> I, I'm, I am struggling so much. There's so much light around me. I'm like having such a shaky time. Might be the pain of the arm. Your arm's better pain. though. That's good. Yeah. Wait. Why the fuck? Seems like we have no, to move. No, it's not. Sorry we to the to... Uh, oh. party crasher, but uh, <laughs> we're gonna have to ask you to <laughs> vacate the dock area for now. Uh, completely vacate? Like you don't? I, oh, can I at least yes, ask for some copper? Because like... There are a bunch of cells in the warehouse I can put you in until someone comes to pick you up. Does that sound good? No? Uh, then please listen to the soldiers and vacate. Hmm. Hey, right. right, lads. lads. Is there an issue? No. If you're wanting a party spot, the good spot on the beach down there. Well, I'm going to bed. Where to? Okay. <laughs> Good night. Night. What is this? What the fuck? Is this yours? No. I see you fucking carrying this shit around like every night. It's not mine. <laughs> oh shit. I drank mine. I drank mine. I wouldn't leave it in front of your door. Not mine. It's really dark. You're gonna gunk the Imperial on my head. Oh, Sep! No, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I thought you were speaking, oh, no, but it's right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have good aim even when I throw it straight up in the air. Please stop bullying, New Sep. Skill unlocked. What are you saying? No, I don't think I will. Are you sure you're gonna go to bed? Yeah, I'm- I'm angry. You always go to bed. Yeah, and I need to be somewhere oh. as well, so... Mmm, okay. The light Good menacingly night. approaches! Fucking say to me. Leave him alone, you little freak. He's going There's to bed. Light. Go. Shoo, or I will make oh, you shoo. Oh, I was go. gonna have a conversation with him. Go. Right, come on, come no, on, he's shoo. going to sleep. Go away. Shoo. Ah. Shoo shoo. Okay. Shoo shoo. All right. Go on before I make you stay out. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Yeah, 
it put two and two together. Shake, all the get over here. That came into. Bro, bro. I'm sorry. I don't bear good news. <laughs> right. You know that. You know that Elwyn Scar that's walking about. Mm-hmm. You see him walk around the book. He saw uh, Risa. He showed me a rough sketch of it inside his book. He inquired. He qu questioned me about it. I couldn't plainly deny that I didn't see it, but I, I faked. I faked like I'd never seen that before. Like it was an orc or something. She's whatever it was. It terrified me, and that's it. Revealing herself to but the thing is, other people as well, like Torty. <sighs> One problem, though. He's a scholar for Eshma. Yeah. Better be fucking right. He's a scholar for Eshma that intends to question anyone he believes knows about it, which includes himself now. Anyone linked to... This is a can of worms that can cascade into something absolutely horrendous. Mm -hmm. It doesn't help that we have people from the town you grew up in, lad, flapping their gums and being loud. Yeah, I know. We can't really control it, though. We've tried to all the fucking time, but people don't know how to keep their mouths shut. Which is why I, I am only <sighs> some hunter, I think his name is, or something. <laughs> My friend <laughs> told me that there was someone being loud. I had to inform the hunters of the. I had to inform the hunters of the possibility of there being orcs in the area. Because I'm planning to send one of my kin with them, so that they get more familiar with the area, and familiar with the flora and fauna in the area. This is also th so that we can provide food for my company. However, I stated explicitly to the hunter whom I spoke with that they need to have their hunters keep their mouths shut. Mm -hmm. This is a test. Because if they go on about orcs being in the area, flapping their gums, I will have no choice but to take some rather drastic actions I'd rather not. I agree. I am not against protecting my kin in any method possible. Every hunter has to disappear in the woods, so be it. I need to, uh... Turn in. It's been a long day. I'll try and catch up with both of you tomorrow about everything. Oh, yes. Oh, and I should let you know at least I was able to find Dale. Good. Dale passed along my message. Good. That is why I was concerned when you mentioned them, Plus, When you said Risa, I thought you meant the other. So I got very concerned. I'm very glad I warned them. 